Hey, what's going on? Luke here. State of Origin Game 1 is done and dusted. Enough talk about Origin. Let's talk about Round 14 of the NRL. And now, obviously, last week was a bit of a disrupted round because of Origin. Um, this week is going to be disrupted still because some players obviously aren't going to back up or they got injured. But for the most part, like everything's back to normal. Um, all the games are going to be played. There's no buys. And I'm expecting good things from Round 14. I think there's some pretty good matchups. And we're going to start off with the very first one, which is the North Queensland Cowboys taking on the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Cowboys find himself in the top four. I'm not going to say surprisingly because they've actually been so, so good. I mean, surprisingly because at the start of the season, didn't expect them to go this well, but they have really hit the ground running in 2022. And I feel like in front of a home crowd, especially after they just won the first game of State of Origin, I feel like the North Queensland faithful are going to be super pumped up, um, super happy about not only Queensland winning, but a lot of the boys in Queensland were from North Queensland. They were the Cowboys. So uh, I'm expecting big things from the Cowboys this game. Also, I think they could, they could suffer a little bit from the fact that so many guys played, uh, but there was a lot of guys who were involved in the camp too. I feel like this is going to take the Cowboys to the next level. Um, there's so much involvement in State of Origin, but I mean, for the Dragons, nothing really changes for them. Um, they're kind of just the same old Dragons. They win some, they lose some. Uh, one week, they're really, really good. The next week, they're absolutely terrible. I feel like this week, they're going to be absolutely terrible. A home game for the Cowboys. Cowboys win this one, 13 plus in my opinion. Moving on to the second game, which is the Gold Coast Titans taking on South Sydney Rabbitohs. Now, this will be a very interesting one. We've got Brimson moving back to fullback. Uh, we've got Paul Turner making his debut in the halves. already got Sexton there. A very inexperienced halves pairing. Um, we've got Brimson back at fullback, though. I do like that move. I really like Jaden Campbell, and I feel like the Titans, they know Jaden Campbell's good. They know Brimson's good. It's just a matter of trying to shove them all in the same side, and I don't know if it's working, but at the same time, Brimson back at fullback, has experience there. He's played for Queensland uh, at fullback, so I think this is not necessarily the best Titans lineup, but... Um, I don't necessarily mind the changes that they made. They've been forced, but I don't necessarily mind them. For the Rabbitohs, once again, they find themselves in the top eight, but so hot and cold. It's so hard to get a read on them. Uh, in saying that, though, I think they will win this one. I don't have any confidence in saying that because both sides are the sort of t team that uh, if they get going, they can score points. Titans can score points. They just leak a lot of points uh, in the second half. So, I don't know. If Titans can get a lead, uh, I don't know. You don't really want to give the Rabbitohs a sniff either. Um, because like once they get going, they can score points for sure. But I don't know. I don't really like Cody Nikarima at fullback either for the Rabbitohs. I think I'm convincing myself to go to Titans, actually. Let's go to Titans. Let's go to the Titans at home. Don't know if it would be classed as an upset, but let's go with the Titans. Moving on to the next game, it is the Sydney Roosters taking on the Melbourne Storm. This, for me, is match of the round easy. Like, there's no question about it. This is match of the round. Sydney Roosters. Uh, Tedesco had a great game uh, for State of Origin, uh, for New South Wales, I should say. Uh, Melbourne had, you know, pretty much everybody who played for Melbourne was really good, although Xavier Coates picks up an injury, and I think that would be a big loss for them. Uh, just the threat of him, uh, and also some of the backups for Melbourne uh, in terms of the wing spots are a little bit, a little bit iffy, so... Um, I think it does cause a little bit of a headache, and assuming everybody plays Munster and all that, I think they're just going to roll straight into this game, and I do see Melbourne winning this one. Heard Cameron Smith talk about this game and how up for the game Melbourne would be, uh, just because it is the Roosters, and you know they played in the grand finals a couple of years ago. Both sides are definitely going to be up for it. Just Roosters are just a little bit off the money this year, um, just not with it. But this is the sort of the game that could kickstart them. It definitely could. Um, I could easily see Roosters coming out and, and winning this one and winning it well, but for me, I'm going to go Melbourne Storm 1-12. I think it will be a tight one. I think there will be times in the game where we're sort of looking at it and going, I think Roosters can win this one, but I'm going to go the Melbourne Storm. On to the next game. We have the Brisbane Broncos taking on the Canberra Raiders. Broncos players were some of the best the other night. Payne Haas for New South Wales I thought was really good. Patrick Carrigan, outstanding. Really, really good. Really, really liked what I saw from him. Um, exactly what you want to see from him too. Like we kind of knew he could sort of do it, but stepping up in the origin level, that was in, that was pretty much incredible. So yeah, Paddy Carrigan, uh, big props to him. Uh, in terms of this game, Raiders have been, they've been okay, but they haven't been great. Jack White for the Raiders was great for them. Hopefully kickstarting him a little bit because we know what he can do. Uh, it's just a matter of doing it every week. Uh, for me though, Broncos have to win this one. Like Josh Papali played for them. Jack White played for the Raiders. Not too many uh, like origin sort of guys who could be missing. Uh, the Broncos definitely could be. It could be a little battered and bruised, but I feel like Broncos are in such good form at the moment that I just don't see them losing this one. Well, over Adam Reynolds is fit. Um, Tamari Martin has been a revelation for them at fullback. And we, we knew he was good, but just after a couple of years of not playing, 
Um, yeah, no, the Broncos side, they are very, very good. And it's crazy to think that, like, imagine they don't even have, like, a gun hooker either. Imagine if they had someone who was really, really good. It'd be scary. It really would be scary, um, some of the players in that squad, especially, like, Origin too. I can really see some of these guys really stepping up um, in the back half of the season. Uh, I think they might tire out, but just with how they've played so far, I can see them getting a lot of experience. So I'm going to go Broncos 13 plus for this one. I think I think they're a shoe, and I think out of all the teams, I'm probably the most confident that Broncos are going to win this one. Also, the fact that it's a home game too, I need to mention that. Now, moving on to Sunday, we have the West Tigers taking on the Manly Ringer Sea Eagles. Uh, Manly actually pretty decent last week. Uh, the Tigers, like they sh- they've won a couple games. Apart from that, though, they haven't really shown too much. I think Ruben Garrix actually looks surprisingly good in the fullback role. Uh, obviously, not a long-term option for them, but for this season, I think he can do a decent little job there. Cherry Evans was in back to himself uh, for Queensland. I think he'll sort of step up again for them. Uh, for the Tigers, though, like I'm just I'm looking at the lineup right now. Apart from Jackson Hastings, I just don't really see any threats in the side. Like I just can't really see any way that like. Tigers are going to actually offer too much. Apart from the fact that Manly can be a bit iffy in defense, especially like Morgan Harper and such. But I feel like Manly will have enough to get the job done for sure. I thought Schuster looked really good last week. Great signs for Manly, especially for Schuster too, in terms of going forward. But I do think Manly are going to win this one. I'm not confident in saying like 13 plus or anything, but I think Manly are going to win this one 1-12. to Now we move on to the Newcastle Knights taking on the Penrith Panthers. This is going to be interesting because Penrith had a lot of players playing instead of Origin. A lot of guys who could be batted. So Nathan Cleary get smashed all night. Had a terrible game. Jerome Lewine didn't do that much. I know he set up a trial, but he didn't do that much. Uh, for Newcastle, though, I mean, Frizzell was in and around the camp, but obviously didn't play. Um, Dan Gagai did. I'm assuming he would back up. I'm just assuming. Caelan Ponga, another one. Uh, Gagai and Ponga, I thought, were really good. Obviously, Queensland got the win, so they must have played half decent. Uh, but, you know, I, I think they're going to back up. And uh, I'm not going to say that they'll, they'll win the game. But I feel like Newcastle might surprise a few people here uh, in terms of the performance. Um, I don't expect them to actually win or get any anywhere close to winning it. But... Uh, Penrith, I think, will be a little bit underdone uh, considering how many players played in State of Origin. So we'll see how they go. That could be completely wrong here. And uh, everything suggests that Penrith should win this one by like 50 compared to, to previous games and all that sort of stuff. But just with the Penrith players playing in State of Origin, losing the game for the most part, I think everyone was New South Wales, right? So they all lost. Um, they're either going to come out with a point to prove and just smoke nights by like 60 or they're going to be a little bit underdone a little bit hurt a little bit busted so we'll see how they go but i am going to go penrith 13 plus in saying that so yeah penrith 13 plus it's just an easy one i was talking earlier about the broncos being a sure thing sure things are the penrith panthers that's for sure uh, moving on to the next game though we have the new zealand warriors taking on the cronulla sutherland sharks now the sharks started off very strong sort of fell away a little bit it's kind of what they do every year every year the sharks they they look all right and then we go oh maybe they can match it with the top four sides And then they don't. Uh, But right now, taking on the New Zealand Warriors, a lot of controversy in New Zealand. Uh, Obviously, they're not in New Zealand, but they are going back to New Zealand. A lot of players, uh, you know, leaving. They've also got the coach that just left. Didn't even mention that for the Tigers, too, the new coach. That could really inspire them. But um, for the Warriors, like, I I don't... Nathan Brown, I don't really rate him, but at the same time, losing your coach, either teams really rise or they they fall dramatically. And uh, I'm not really sure where the Warriors are going to go because they've been so unpredictable literally the whole time they've been a club. So I don't really know where to go in this one because, I don't know, this is the sort of game I could see Warriors coming out surprising someone, but I just, I don't know. I just don't see it happening against the Sharks. I'm going to pick the Sharks for this one. I'm going to go 1-12. to I think it'll be fairly competitive, but I think Sharks win this one. And now moving on to the last game of the round, Mike Henry makes down Bulldogs taking on the Parramatta Eels. Almost don't even want to talk about this game. Bulldogs is just so frustrating to talk about. I have to sit here every week, week after week, and talk about how bad my team is. A little bit disheartening. Um, you got the Parramatta Eels, though, on the other hand, too. Like I've said, kind of similar to the Sharks. They've started off all right, and the team do this every year. They start off all right, they fall away, and then you sort of you go, you go, you sort of go from them being like, oh, they're going to be a top four side. For me, I had them as minor premiers, and then by mid season, you're kind of going, yeah, they're still a little way off. But um, look, for Parramatta, not too many people backing up State of Origin. Uh, for the Bulldogs, absolutely none. Um, I'd love to sit here and say the Bulldogs can win this one. And I do think the Bulldogs will be competitive in this game. I don't think they're going to get blown off the park. I don't think there's going to be a score put on them or anything. But I do see Parramatta win this one. I think it will be 1-12. I think it will be surprisingly close. But 
Just have to go with Para. I just can't tip the Bulldogs as much as I want to. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video. Hopefully, you enjoyed my tips and predictions. A little bit of a preview on the game. If you did, make sure you go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Also, make sure you use the notification bell. Don't line the sub boxes. Use the notification bell and never miss out on any of my videos. Also, make sure you leave a comment too, especially for these sort of videos. Doing tips and predictions, drop them in the comment section below. I'd love to take a look at your ones. Also, go ahead and chuck me a follow on social media. It's on the screen right now. It's Miss Luke and YT for the most part. My Facebook's Miss Luke, but everything else, including Snapchat, including TikTok, is Miss Luke and YT. Give me a follow, give me an ad. Also, become a member of the channel. Shout out to everybody who's a member of the channel right now. I've got way more members than I ever thought I was going to get. So, mad appreciation to you guys. And if you would like to become a member as well and support the channel, link in the description below. You want to see things on the screen right now and how to do it. And you can take a look at all the levels and, and possibly sign up to become a member. So, once again, thank you for all the guys who have become a member and thank you for watching this video. Thank you for more content on the channel. Plenty of stuff to talk about with State of Origin, with the NRL back. Going to be some good videos, so stay tuned. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. See you.